So after a seven hour drive this morning, we are now in the Oki Finoki Swamp. And it is about seven o'clock. I just got here, literally just threw my tent together, grabbed my bag and I came straight out here. And we're on one of just three trails in the park. This is the raised boardwalk, the one I'm the most excited about. And the reason why I ran out here is because tonight is going to be the lowest winds for the three nights that I'm going to be here. So I'm really trying to get a couple recorders out here. And I'm also just excited in general. So I will take you along with me and show you where I choose to set up. All right. Bard owl in the background and these strange explosive frogs. Got the LS10 running up to my sass. That was very challenging to set up on purpose so that no one will risk falling into the water because uh, the spot is so exposed. I'm just gonna pop this in a dry bag and put it on the bungee down there. There it is. What is that frog? I gotta look it up. All right, and my second spot tonight is gonna be on this tree right here. And the reason why I'm choosing that one is because across from it are these really nice perches. And there's a third one over there too, just off to the left. And there's also another dead pine right here, kind of scraggly. So I'm hoping for some owls. All right, for this one, I have the D100 at just about five, the low cut at 75 Hertz, and we're rolling. And hopefully no one will notice that because it's easily accessible and has my D100 in it. I think we're good. Good morning, everybody. Since I didn't get any video of me setting this drop rig up, I figured I would take a video of me taking it down. So it is about 7.45. I had to wait a while to get in here. They had the, uh, the trail closed. And I was the only one in line. So I'm the only one out here. Still recording? Okay, now here's the hard part. All right, I was just about to take a nap and a thunderstorm started blowing in. So I put on all my rain gear yep. and I'm hiking out as far away as I can because everybody's running back to camp. I heard some good thunder. Everybody's getting out of the boats and going back to camp. So I'm going the opposite way and I'm gonna set up a recording and get ready for a nice sit in the woods. I'll show you what we're doing. All right, here's what we're doing. Got the sass, my shortest bungee cord because this tree is skinny, and two windscreens because there's probably going to be some wind coming. Yeah. take 
all this Spanish moss and put it on top. Tuck that in behind too. I'm hoping that will deaden the sound of any drops hitting it. Last look here. Hopefully it starts raining soon, so then uh, people will really start running. But I have quite a bit of Spanish moss on here. I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty acoustically transparent. And then I also have it under a pine. Not a very dense one, but still should help shed some of that water. And we're just waiting for the storm now. All right, and because I'm paranoid about my levels peaking and this storm is really good, I'm going to set up another recorder. Because why not? This will be a good test to see how quickly I can set up a microphone from start to finish and top it with moss. Oh, that's a good lightning overhead. peaking so I'm gonna set this one up probably run back over there wait for a strike while watching the levels and see it could be cool to have uh, two perspectives of the storm one from the actual bottomland forest and one from the upland pine forest so that's what I'm going with I also have to change my batteries and I, I ended up putting my LS10 in the other one because it was going to be faster because I didn't want to change the batteries in the D100, but here I am. So, add that to my total time. Uh, bungee. Oh, a tangled bungee cord. Not old dude. One windscreen will have to do as well. Perfect, I just gotta go get some moss. All right, <laughs> got everything all set up and I'm just taking some shelter in the thing. There's a lot of Spanish moss on the top that's keeping a fair bit of the rain off of me, actually. So, just gonna stay here until the storm dies down and take it from there. All right, the uh, storm is just about over now and people are starting to come out of hiding, getting back in the boats going back in the water, so I need to go get my microphones back. So I know this wasn't in the video, but right when that rain really started to come down, I was running around like a madman, and I managed to get quite a bit of Spanish moss on there. So if this works, that's how much you need. And here is one of those truly heartbreaking moments as a field recorder. The D100 is unique in that to start recording, you need to press the record button right there. And then you need to press the play button. And I press the record, we're in standby mode, but I never press play, so we got nothing. Uh, and this is actually like dry too, so I think that it worked really well. Well, hopefully the LS10 got some good stuff, but this is really disappointing. <laughs> This is not the first time it's happened. Probably won't be the last.
All right, we are back in the car now, and I couldn't wait to listen to the LS10 sounds because I needed to know that I got something good out of all of that. And I've just done that, and it was perfect. My levels peaked at a maximum of minus 0.7 dB, and that is like the closest I could probably have ever hoped to get without actually peaking, so that was literally perfect. And the Spanish moss also was flawless. There were no hard, uh, like drumming sounds of raindrops. It just, it sounded perfectly acoustically clear and transparent. And it's a really, really good recording. So I am relieved. I would like to say something about like redundancy and how like, you know, that's why you should always set up two recorders, but it's irrelevant because my redundant recorder was the one that I didn't actually get any sound with. So, you know, just one of those things that happens every once in a while and it really stinks, but at least I did get some good sound out of it.